let's talk about uh, the readings for this Sunday. There is a vision of God for every nation on earth to prosper. As we begin the new liturgical year, the word is saying a nation or society without Jesus Christ is doomed. And that is a strong message of the prophet. A nation or society without God, without Jesus, is doomed. So it's time for us, the scripture says, it's time for us to do what? To wake up. And the scripture does not even mean something that you have to overthink about. Please, when it says wake up, it simply means wake up. It just means be alert, wake up, waking up as waking up in the morning. Wake up and wake up, let's be real and let's face the truth. The truth is that most of us are facing problems, we are facing issues as a result of not having a deep understanding of the law of God. So we need to wake up mentally, we need to wake up spiritually. Most of us are having issues because we have no time to worship, we are so busy. Most of us are having problems eh? because we have no genuine relationship with God. And I'm speaking about genuine relationship in terms of our commitment. We are not committed to Jesus Christ. The Lord is the source and summit of our Christian life. And the Bible is truthful about this. It cannot lie. It says again that we are simply branches and Christ is the vine. Now, cut off from him, it says, you can do nothing. Cut off from him, you can do nothing. We talk about saying, "Me pla handi waitaso," and I have to think, and I always think, "Some pla namo la me pla me pla lip long emtaso." Some of us are simply leaves. And I want to give an example as I speak about how we need to be connected to Christ in the coming season for us to solve many issues that we're going through. I want to be truthful and again recall that as we come to the end of the year. Lay in particular has had a lot of issues. Your homes, your houses, my parish, my community where I work, there have been issues there. And some of these issues, they are uh, coming from the time of elections. In the recent past, we have had all these troubles and all these problems and all these issues. And we have to admit that we have failed to actually solve them. And some of these issues are not just here in Morobe, but they are also in some parts of Papua New Guinea. Okay, and they are also happening in other parts of the world. We have to admit that we don't know how to get out of the cycle of these issues. And we don't know how to get out of these problems. We have to admit that we need utmost right now, the hand of God, God's intervention. This is when these problems will be out. So truth be told, most of the people who do not go to church, who have no relationship with God. They are the people who, who actually uh, instigate, in some way I would say, that these issues continue. People who have abandoned God, who disdain the church, who do not fear God, who do not respect life. These very people are the ones that the church calls today through uh, this particular season that we begin. For the society to be peaceful, we need God. Prophet Isaiah is calling on all the people, you and me, to flock to the temple, to attend church services, to go to church. If you left the church a long time ago, the prophet is saying, go back. I know we can easily turn away from God, but as we do, we forget we're turning away from what I call a God solution. If the church has had no genuine place in your heart, therefore, we make an appeal again as we begin this Sunday that you go back to the church and find comfort in the presence of the Lord. Next year is coming. We as a society are going to continue complaining about couts, about tribal fights, about rascal pass and hold ups and so forth. But we will forget that as even as we continue complaining, there is a solution there. The solution is to be found in God. And if we are deep rooted in the word, then we are going to see the society that we want. So find time, therefore, uh, this season, find time a day to go to church. Go back to God and listen to the word. We don't pray 
to change the mind of God. No, we pray so that God can change us, so that we can be changed. It is us who put ourselves in his presence so that we can be transformed. Worship is to change our society, to change all of us by listening to the precepts, ordinances, and the oracles and the laws of God, our land shall prosper. There is this Sunday, and it's a special Sunday. It's a Sunday that says, we'll come back to the church. So if you have not been um, a church, have not stepped their foot in church for the past three, four Sundays, St. Paul says, read, the word again. Romans chapter 13 verse 11 to 14 says stop being idle. Just wake up. Just wake up and wake up man and go to church. This message is surely not for all of us but certainly for the majority of us. Two types of people are mentioned in the gospel as I end. There is that type of people that are going to take this message seriously and there is also you know the jokers, we have the jokers who think life is, is a joke. So the Bible says two people will be in the same place, you know, one will take the message and the other will not take it. And the one who take the message will be taken up and the other will not take the message will be left behind. So it says, for in those days before the, 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 the flood, the people were eating, drinking, taking wives, taking husbands right up until the day when Noah went into the ark and they expected nothing till the flood came and swept all away. It will be like this when the Son of Man comes. So let us walk in the light of the Lord. Have a blessed Sunday.